everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Connected Body Podcast. I am super excited to have Marielle Rosenfield here today, founder of Grounded Co. Apparel. Welcome, Marielle. Oh, hello, hello, Laura. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Yay. All right. Well, we finally got this together. It's been a a few weeks trying to get it together, but we are here and I am so excited to share. And I just want to tell everyone, I met Marielle at a, a wellness event at the Lotus Cove Wellness Spa here in Boca Raton. And when I walked in, she was like this little beam of light, like just, just bright. And I knew, okay, I need to know more about her. So... Uh, we both felt that there was such a natural connection from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's just get started. I want to know about you a little bit about your background and just how you got started. Oh, fabulous. Thank you again. So my name is Mary. I'm the founder of Grounded Co. And Grounded Co. is an apparel brand for women that was created from a mom for other, not just moms, but for all of the women. Um, and we got started because, so I, a little bit of background about myself. I used to work in property management, real estate, um, completely different sides from where I am today. And, um, and I did love it as well. I always worked with people, um, people. I, I just, I love people. I love meeting people. I love connecting. I love connecting people to people. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, um, I worked in that industry and had a family, things got crazier, busier, you know, it was a lot of hours. I was, I have to say, I was barely ever present because of work that took so long. I was a mom traveling with the computer out of the office to pick up the kids from school. Right. And so it's like this, this can't be what life is, is going to be. I want so much more. I want to be present. Being a mom was what I always wanted to be, but be present in that moment right. and pretty challenging for, you know, today's moms when you're yeah. trying manage so many things and and you know you have that feeling of like oh my god what do I do first what has more priority mm -hmm. and so we have also a family business and that started to pick up in a time where we were starting to also look for someone to come work for us and I said you know what it was the perfect opportunity for me to make the transition and fill that spot and have some time to kind of just be in that moment, be still, recollect my thoughts. Always wanted to, again, make a connection in our community with people. And I'll never forget, it was the first summer I was able to take such a nice vacation. I'm from the Dominican Republic and my family mm -hmm. lives there. So uh, they live in Cabarete, which is gorgeous. It's kind of like, it's, it's a small, it's like two miles of the island near Puerto Plata. And they're all about, it's very holistic living, just into wellness, lots of yoga. Um, and so I went there for the summer instead of doing summer camp. And we spent about like two months there. Incredible. Right. And I had a lot of downtime. I had a lot of time to ground and recharge and be still, which to me, it was hard to do when you're so used to going and going, you feel almost uncomfortable in that. Yes. And, and so I knew I had to spend more time there because as in anything in life, when we're uncomfortable, that is where the growth happens. That is where the magic happens. And that is so hard to be in those moments, but I was, and I had that connection. I never forget. I was really called earthing. I yes. had my feet in the ground, in the sand, right in front of the ocean. And I was doing a meditation session with my sister. And I'll never forget, I got the most incredible, like just goosebumps and just, I need more of this feeling. I need to feel this connection of peace, of stillness, of grounding. And that's where it started to come to me, the whole Grounded Co. movement of wanting to create a community for my community where other people not just you know right now we're just a service to women but eventually we'll be a service to all but just be a service to the community where you are doing what you love while you're staying grounded and that's what we're all about we're all about staying grounded and connecting <laughs> i love it i love it well oh wait i have to show everyone i have on one of her t-shirts so we're yeah 
We're going to talk about that. Yes. <laughs> We're not uh, today. Yeah, matchy, matchy. <laughs> All right. So I know also that the ocean holds a very special place for you. And, and how did you weave the ocean into this? So for me, the ocean, I don't know about you, Laura, but for me, the ocean, like I, first off, I love to meditate, right? Even if it's just 10 minutes, yeah. that's what I have today. That's what I'm going to give it. But there's something so magical about the ocean when I go, whether if I'm meditating, whether if I'm just putting my feet on the water, whether if I'm just sitting in the water, there's something so relaxing, so connecting, so grounding. I feel like all of the stress, all of the anxiety, anything that I may be feeling or experiencing just kind of washes off and I'm ready to just restart. That's always been the case for me since a child, um, doing a lot of uh, you know trips to the ocean. That, that would be, like, hey, what are we doing on the weekend? We're going to the ocean, we're gonna pack some food and we're gonna spend the day there. And for me as a kid, it was just amazing. So I've always had a connection since I was a kid, always worried about our oceans, like, you know, making sure being that mindfulness, like picking up when there's so much, you know, pollution and trash and you know, let's face it, there's so much of it in the oceans in today's world. So I've always wanted to tie something in with the Grounded Co brand. So like some of our apparel are made out of recycled material, recycled water bottles that sometimes unfortunately are found in our oceans. Um, and that's how our brand is tied. We're in the process of developing a program where we could do some beach cleanups um, just because that ties so deeply, you know, to me and to our movement. I love, love, love that. And that's uh, another thing that I just love about you and your company is, is the giving back. You know, there are so many companies, I think that they just are, you know, they want to make money, nothing wrong with making money, but the giving back at this point in time in history is such an important piece of the puzzle. So I, I really, really appreciate that you're doing that. Thank you. I agree with you so much. It is so important to give back because I mean, let's face it, we are there's there's I always say it there's power through community. Yeah. And the more that we embrace that and the more that we harbor on that, it's like there's space for all of us to win, yes. to move, shine in, you know. And yes, it is important to make money and when you're running a business, yeah. but my heart gets filled. It's just giving back. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's when it's not a job. So that's yeah, beautiful. Job. <laughs> so tell us about the different, the different apparel that you do have on the website, because I, as you see, we're spokesmodels today, but there's more than just t-shirts and sweatshirts. <laughs> that is very true. Yes. And hoodies. Um, so we have a bit of a collection on our site right now. And it's funny because we wanted to start off was as, you know, athleisure, like athletic apparel and actually launched in the middle of the pandemic, like many people did. <laughs> and so we had to pivot. We had to do a lot of pivoting because we had done so much research um, as far as and connecting, um, wanting to launch, launch with an apparel brand as far as, you know, leggings and your activewear right. and as the world started to shut down we had more complications and more you know limitations so again just another hurdle and how are you going to show up for that so we decided to pivot <laughs> pivot i love it yes and so we launched with a t-shirt we started with t-shirts and hats so we have t-shirts we have hats we do have hoodies We've done uh, also rash guards because we are such lovers of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So a few rash guards and in within that, we have a few collaborations that we've done, which I do have to give shout outs to you, Courtney Cannon. Um, she does all still life um, uh, paintings, live paintings for weddings or she works with brands. She is amazing. Wow. Um, so it, that's the mahi that we all see and it's all about staying grounded. So I did the collaboration with her. We also have socks, especially coming up now for our chili season. I just yes. might happen to have a pair here. Oh. I bought these that day um, because I have roller skates and I wanted to wear them. I needed, you know, in Florida, we barely wear socks, but I have all those little tiny ped type socks. I'm like, these are great for roller skating. I didn't <laughs> see, I have not worn them yet and I have not roller skated in them, but I will be. 
<laughs> but you will be, and I can't wait to see that. And those are actually very special socks. That's another collaboration with Sugar Boogie. She is your 10 year old entrepreneur, actually 11 year old entrepreneur boss babe. And uh, she does everything custom tie dye. And I just saw it as the best opportunity to do a yeah. because, you know, we talk about, we have, you know, our grounded girl, which I know we'll talk about movement, but I've always said, you know, in order to be this grounded woman, you have to start as a grounded girl. And that's where it starts. So um, that's another special collaboration. We're very, yes, uh, and those are our amethyst vibes. Um, we also, I'm very big into cleansing our energy and protecting our energy. Mm -hmm. Already know when they come home, they're like, mom saging. <laughs> so I'm a big sager. I love to sage. I love to cleanse my space, especially, you know, because we're not always feeling our very best. That would be ideal to feel that way. Yes. And that does take work. Part of that work is protecting your energy. Um, and so I'm very big into that. So we do sell sage. We do the, the, the blue magic sage. And we also do our regular sage, white sage. So we have both, which are for different purposes, but ultimately to cleanse your energy and space. I love that. It's so important. I mean, energy is like, I don't know, energy is the new black. Vibration is the new black. Like, you know, it used to be kale. Now... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so true but i'm such yeah. a big fan that because especially in today's world with you know so many things going on in the planet you yeah. know it's so easy for our energies and vibes to get affected and just to be brought down and you know there's a lot of people out there that are looking just to put whatever they're they're carrying to dump that somewhere else and although we're there for you know our community and there to support it is also very important to be mindful and to protect that just so that we don't absorb so much where it turns off your own light, you know? Yeah. That, and that's what you pointed out in the beginning is those putting your feet on the earth, on the beach, on the grass and grounding, you're recharging your batteries, you're recharging your battery. And even just wearing something that, you know, gives this message, you're, you're just shining to other people. And then that helps them. They might just smile because they saw this, this shirt today. Like that's amazing, you know? So True. And that's and that's that's really our main goal is just exactly what you said, you know, is just to be that impact because we're all going through things, you know, even when we're wearing that beautiful smiling face, you never know what that person is going through and what they're carrying. Um, and so our goal is to make that transition to be of that light to be of that connection. Um, because that that's all that we can do, right? Yes, yes, I love it. All right. So I know on your website, you have an amazing blog and you have an interview series. So tell us about your interview series. Oh, so, so funny that you should ask because we just completed a one year anniversary with our grounded girl movement. So, <laughs> in all of this launch and all of this, you know, I just wanted to continue to figure out ways how can we connect with our community? There is so many amazing women that I have met, you know, and specifically through this group. Um, it's called Fem City, which is in Boca, which I'm a part of, you know, and um, I've been able to meet so many amazing, fabulous, fabulous boss babes. Um, where through there, I've met Natalie, and through Natalie, I met you, you know. So it's just like the circle that keeps giving, and I'm like how can we showcase how can we connect with these amazing women and share them with our community you know uh, just because they have so much as well to offer and i want them to be a part of that and i want to create that so we created it and so every month we feature a grounded girl and a grounded girl in our community that's out there you know just doing what she loves making a difference giving back to our community, um, giving something of value and doing it while she stays grounded. And so every month we feature that grounded girl. We do an interview series, which we put through our blog and through our socials. Mm -hmm. um, also do uh, a few videos for us that they could showcase through the Grounded Co um, social, um, whether if it's through Instagram or Facebook. Um, Kind of showcasing and talking about what they are and uh, what they offer. And so, and more importantly, just being able to 
give and share that with our community. Right. That that's beautiful. That's really beautiful connecting everybody and really, you know, one 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 light lights the next light. Yeah, it's it's w- when we can get out there in the community and meet people and reach out, it's it's just such a beautiful thing. And I think that uh, the world is, that's the way the world is, is shifting, is really to connection, community, not being separate. We are all here together on this one planet. We are all connected. We really are. And it's so true. And why not do it together. You know, I, you know, I've I've often heard people like, no, I don't share, you know, my secrets with this or that. I'm like, we're all here to grow together. There's so much space on this planet for all of us to win, for all of us to shine. Why not be able to share my platform with my community, with what you do and with what you share with the world, because it's so magical. You know, like I remember when we met, and with your singing bowls in that space, when we held that wellness event, it was so moving. Your bowls, your energy, everything that you brought to that moment, every woman in there that was a boss babe of their own needed that. Yeah. And so, you know, you being able to share that with them, it just, it's a click in my head naturally, like, oh my God, I need to share this person with the world because she brings so much light, so much magic with with that said, I'm so excited to be able to have you, Laura, as a girl for the month of October. And I cannot wait to share with the community all of your magic. Oh, and thank you for having me. I'm very excited about that. And I will also be sharing that out with everyone when it comes out. Yes. So let's see. I'm going to say one more question. I have a list here. Oh, I- Okay. And then this is one from her interview series, Marielle. If you could pick one place in the world to stay grounded, where would that be? Oh my gosh. Because there's so many amazing places in the world. How do we pick just one? But if I did have to pick one, you know, I've actually never been. And it's like my dream. Everyone who knows me personally knows that that's what I want to do when my 40th birthday comes around. And for me, it's, I want to be in Thailand. I want to be just, I don't know, surrounded by all of the magic of like, all of the energy of the Buddhas and the elephants and the mountains and the rivers and just all of that space. Not that I can't find magic where I'm at right now and in so many places I've been to, but there's something so special. And the irony is that I've never been there, but it calls me so bad that I just, I could see myself there. So if I had to pick one place to be and stay grounded in that environment, it would be in Thailand. <laughs> I I love that. And because you have already seen it and you have the vision, it will happen. I have oh. no, I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up, but I would love for you to share with everyone where they can find you on social media, your websites, your socials, everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you could find me. We have a website. It's groundedcoapparel.com. And if you're looking on social, which we're very connected to, you could find me. It's on Instagram at groundedco underscore. And that would be the same. Like if you're into TikTok, there's so many different apps in today. Yeah. All those so many different amazing connections. But TikTok is also at groundedco underscore. And then you could also find us on Facebook. So, but check out our blog check out our interviews of our grounded girls um, that you'll find on the website, which is again, www.groundedcoapparel.com. And I'm going to put all these links and all everything below the video. So everyone can really easily find you. Um, And you guys get a t-shirt, get a shirt. I love them. Hoodie season is coming guys. And we are stocked ready for hoodie season. We have a Different ones. We have crop tops, we have zippered, we have tie dye ones, and we also have long sleeve shirts, also made out of our recyclable materials. So check those out. Perfect yeah. timing, end of the year. <laughs> end of the year. Start your holiday shopping a little early. <laughs> Perfect. That's right. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Marielle, thank you so, so much for being here and shining your light and sharing your love and your passion with everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, Laura. It was such a pleasure connecting with you and your community. And I look forward to the next one. Yay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you on the next Connected Body Podcast. Bye-bye. Yeah, wait.